viewers welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought a problem uh, which is found both in Harvard uh, problem of the week uh, and as well as uh, Pathfinder uh, it's uh, Pathfinder chapter 4 conservation of momentum uh, ch challenge your understanding problem 3 and uh, Harvard problem of the week uh, 87 uh, by mistake I put uh, uh, 7 here it should have been 87 okay Harvard problem of the week 87 and uh, uh, check your understanding, uh, challenge your understanding problem 3 from conservation momentum because one of the students had asked me to do this. So now without much ado, I'll straight away get into the problem. Okay. So here's the problem. Okay. A point particle of mass M sits at rest on top of a frictionless hemisphere of mass capital M. So this hemisphere has a mass capital M, this has got mass small m. Okay. Uh, which okay which rests on a frictionless table as shown so this is a frictionless table okay the particle is given a tiny kick and slides down the hemisphere so we just uh, release it almost from here and then it starts falling down but in the process hemisphere will also move by because it's not fixed hemisphere it's on frictionless surface right okay at what angle theta measured from the top of the hemisphere does the particle lose contact with the hemisphere so we have to find out where is the contact lost okay at what angle does it lose the contact okay in answering this question for small m not equal to capital m it is sufficient for you to produce an equation that theta must satisfy so let's say this is some theta so we only want to make an equation in theta for the first part okay uh, so it will be a cubic equation that we want to make however for the special case of small m equal to capital m this equation can be solved without too much difficulty find the angle in this case so we have to find the special case uh, for the second part when small m is equal to capital m this is small m and this is capital m and actually the pathfinder uh, question only uh, focuses on the second part when small m is equal to capital m it doesn't talk about the general case but i'll be solving the general case as well okay so let's see if you want you can give it a try i'll get into my solution right away okay so okay so let's assume that contact is lost at some angle theta okay now at this instant because if the contact is being lost then normal reaction is zero right and if normal reaction is zero that means what this hemisphere must be an inertial frame why because it the only force which was accelerating this hemisphere in the backward direction was the normal reaction so when the normal reaction becomes zero the hemisphere must be an inertial frame so that's the first thing that we can use in the problem okay then another thing we uh, know that the center of mass cannot have any horizontal velocity why because there is no external force in the horizontal direction although there is gravity in the vertical direction so center of mass cannot have any horizontal velocity but it can have some vertical velocity so it has some vertical velocity right also I am going to uh, simplify things a little bit I am trying going to avoid uh, intelligently introduce uh, variables so that I can do this problem with lesser number of variables so I will be using the concept of center of mass and what I'll use is the uh, fact that kinetic energy of a two body system is what? That is half mu V relative square. Here V relative is the velocity of the two uh, bodies relative to each other. So half mu V relative square which is the kinetic energy as seen from center of mass frame and plus kinetic energy of center of mass. Let's say two bodies have mass capital M plus small m. Then uh, we need to add half capital M plus small m into VCM square where vcm is the velocity of the center of mass from the frame from which you want to write the kinetic energy so this is the kinetic energy as seen from cm and this is the kinetic energy of cm uh, loosely speaking if you uh, if that term means something kinetic energy of center of mass plus kinetic energy relative to center of mass so in the cm frame this is the kinetic energy okay so now uh, instead of assuming uh, v1 and v2 as velocities of the blocks uh, block and the hemisphere i am just assuming uh, one variable that is velocity of this small m relative to the hemisphere at the time of uh, leaving the contact uh, you will see how this will uh, lead to uh, good equations so uh, instead of assuming individual velocity variables all i have done is i have take, taken the relative velocity variable right so that is small v relative to the hemisphere okay so now what is the velocity of the center of mass you know that velocity of center of mass is only vertical so what is the vertical velocity of this one so see this has got velocity v in this direction related to the hemisphere so velocity in the vertical direction is this angle is theta this angle is theta so this is 90 minus theta so it is simply v sin theta in the vertical direction right and since hemisphere doesn't have any uh, vertical velocity so this uh, v sin theta is also the vertical velocity from the ground frame okay 
so its velocity vertical velocity is uh, v sin theta so what is the velocity of the center of mass in the vertical direction that is simply mv sin theta upon m plus m because hemisphere has got no vertical velocity and this itself is the total velocity of center of mass why because center of mass only has vertical velocity there is no horizontal velocity of the center of mass right so now uh, what i can do uh, i can use this equation to in uh, this equation for vcm and v relative is also just v and this is also expressed in terms of v so entire kinetic energy is just expressed in terms of the relative velocity variable so uh, so uh, that's how i intelligently reduce one variable instead of taking v1 and v2 i just took relative velocity right so kinetic energy can be expressed in terms of small v and that i can equate as equal to the uh, loss in potential energy i am doing everything from ground frame only please don't even this formula in, involves the center of mass but uh, the kinetic energy i am writing only from ground frame right so using this equation and using conservation of mechanical energy so mgr into 1 minus cos theta because this uh, loss in height is r into 1 minus cos theta that should be equal to half uh, and this is mm upon m plus m is the reduced mass right so half mu v square and plus half m plus m and this is your vcm that i found here squared right so this is one equation and another equation i can write is for the centripetal force right so uh, hemisphere from the frame of hemisphere which is an inertial frame the this is going along a circular path and its acceleration is v square by r in this direction and what is the force in this direction so mg is acting in downward direction so force in this direction is simply mg cos theta y because normal reaction has vanished over here right so centripetal force equation is mv square by r is equal to mg cos theta so now uh, i have equation 3 and equation 4 and i have two unknowns what are those unknowns uh, we have uh, theta and v as the unknown so what i can do i can eliminate v, v from this uh, r of course will get cancelled don't worry about r uh, so uh, we just eliminate v from this and let's see what equation do we get in theta so if you eliminate uh, v in equation 3 and 4 what do you get you get this equation okay and you see in this equation there is only cos theta which is unknown and i can simplify this uh, a little bit more and i can get uh, i can rearrange it in proper polynomial form so i get a polynomial in cos theta so it's a cubic in cos theta right so small m cos cube theta minus 3 m plus m cos theta and plus 2 capital m plus small m equal to 0 so this is our answer to the first part of the harvard problem the vk t7 right and now uh, for the pathfinder problem we just need to substitute small m equal to capital m and simplify so if you put small m equal to capital m what does this uh, become so instead of small m you put capital m here so this becomes capital m cos cube theta this becomes 6m cos theta and this becomes 4m equal to 0 now divide the whole thing by capital m so you get uh, cos cube theta minus 6 cos theta plus 4 equal to 0 so this is the equation that i need to solve and bear in mind that cos theta the only acceptable roots will be where cos theta is coming out to be less than 1 i mean magnitude is coming out to be less than 1 so any root where magnitude is greater than 1 is obviously irrelevant root for us right so now uh, let's put cos theta equal to x now it's a simple uh, i mean simple way to solve this equation so you get x cube minus 6x plus 4 equal to 0 and now factorize this so what what roots do you get so one root is x equal to 2 obviously this is the useless root because cos theta cannot be 2 other two roots of this quadratic uh, root 3 minus 1 and minus root 3 minus 1 obviously this is again uh, a useless root we want theta to be acute and moreover this is magnitude is more than 1 so this is a useless root so only acceptable root is root 3 minus 1 right so we get cos theta is root 3 minus 1 and uh, therefore theta is cos inverse of root 3 minus 1 so uh, that's our answer to uh, this problem and i hope you uh, enjoyed the analysis if you did like the problem please do give it a thumbs up and uh, please uh, share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for networking with your fellow students and most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video every day and thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you